Welcome to Deploc Solicitor's Guide on Notice of Intended Prosecution. Have you received a Section 1.7.2 Notice of Intended Prosecution or been stopped at the roadside for exceeding the speed limit? Depending on the speed registered, the punishment can result in a disqualification from driving or penalty points being recorded against your license. The Sentencing Guidelines Table published by VAIR Sentencing Council that every court will refer to when deciding on what punishment to impose can be found in the description below. What am I required to do by law once I receive a notice of intended prosecution? The relevant police force to where the offence has taken place have a statutory requirement under the Road Traffic Offenders Act 1988 to send the NIP to the registered keeper of the vehicle within 14 days of the offence occurring as long as a police officer did not stop the driver at the roadside and issue a speeding ticket after the infringement has occurred. Once received the registered keeper is required by Section 172 of the Road Traffic Act 1988 to complete the form with details of the driver of the vehicle at the time of the alleged offence. If this form is not completed and returned within 28 days then this can result in the registered keeper being summoned to court for an offence of failing to provide, driver details, MS 90, where six penalty points and a fine would be the punishment. There is a potential defense available to this charge if it is possible to prove to the court that it was not reasonably practicable to provide the information required. How long do penalty points remain on your driving license? Penalty points will stay live on your driving license for a period of three years but still show as expired points for a further year. How can I avoid penalty points being recorded against my license? A not guilty plea could be entered as a defense may be available if the police haven't followed procedure correctly or either the speed, camera or handheld speed gun recording equipment can be proved to be not working correctly. However, another way to avoid penalty points being recorded on your license is to accept the police offer of a speed awareness course. You would only be allowed one course on average every three years and would only qualify for the course if the speed was no greater than 10% plus 9 miles per hour over the limit. Once there, speed awareness course has been accepted then you need to attend the course and complete it to the course provider's satisfaction. Contact us today being charged or summonsed for a speeding offense should not be taken lightly. Acting quickly to get an expert team on your side can help minimize the disruption and uncertainty. Get in touch to set up a meeting today.